Paul Horstead started out as a newspaper photographer over 20 years ago. And when he later moved to the Black Hills, he began shooting photo collections of some of the best scenes from the hills, many of them from Custer State Park. But something happened about seven years ago that got him interested in a new and different project. And uh, sort of had this vague idea that Custer had, you know, been here. Uh, but then to realize that the whole wagon train had gone by, you know, within a half a mile of my house, just north of the town of Custer, uh, you know, really, I think, sparked my interest. He found out further that photographs had been taken along the route of the expedition. So there, virtually in his backyard, was one of the scenes captured on the Custer Expedition of 1874. Paul Horstead reasoned that if it was an interesting subject to him, it might be interesting to Black Hills residents in general. So Paul traveled to the same sites that the Custer photographer had visited and rephotographed them. The result was Horstead's book, Exploring with Custer. It became a great success. That made me realize there were just a fascinating wealth of historic photos after Custer was here that maybe you could use the same technique to rephotograph, you know, maybe dozens of other places. Deadwood book the first here. step was to find those photos. Paul visited virtually every museum in the Black Hills and some outside the hills. I visited several several dozen museums. I counted about 50 archives altogether. That included some private collectors who had wonderful collections of historic Black Hills photos. You probably even just see that over my So shoulder. Paul hit the road again, just as he had walk. with the Custer uh, photos, to find the exact spots where other major events in the history of the Black Hills had taken place and were photographed. The gold rush, the development of the mining industry, the building of Deadwood, the rise of Rapid City. Many of the old pictures had been taken well over a century ago using the old wet plate process that required photographers to mix the chemicals in the field and coat a large glass plate in the dark in a horse-drawn wagon. It's really amazing any of these pictures survive, but once they printed them, the quality is just amazing. Amazing indeed, and Paul is playing a role in making sure that more people will be able to see those amazing old photos than ever before. Tomorrow, we'll visit some of those places photographed so long ago to find out what they looked like then and now. Al Van Zee, Fox 7 News.